friends, Miss Christy here, and I am so excited to be together again cooking in the kitchen. Today we are learning how to make a peanut butter crunch cake. It may sound a bit complicated, but it's actually a very simple snack. We'll use just three ingredients and it's no bake, so we don't even need our microwave or oven. We're gonna have fun making this together today, and I'm so glad you're here. First step to cooking and working in the kitchen is to wash our hands. While I wash my hands with soap and warm water for at least 20 seconds, let's go over the ingredients and supplies that you'll need to gather to cook along today. The ingredients you'll need are one rice cake, two tablespoons of peanut butter, and one tablespoon of chocolate chips. The supplies you'll need are a small plate, one tablespoon and a butter knife. Okay, great. Your hands are clean and my hands are clean. We've gathered our ingredients and supplies, so let's get started making our peanut butter crunch cake. So again, this is just a really super simple snack. It's got a bit of peanut butter, a little bit of sweet with the chocolate chips, um, and it's just a fun thing to try. So the very th first thing you want to do is grab your plate and just set that in front of you because that's where all of our creation is going to be made right here on our plate. And then grab your rice cake. So I've got my plate that we're gonna set down here and then I just am grabbing my rice cake and put your rice cake right on the plate. And then grab your butter knife and your one tablespoon because we are gonna measure out two tablespoons of peanut butter. Um, so we need to have our tablespoon handy and our knife to scoop it out. And then grab your peanut butter. So all we're gonna do is put two tablespoons of peanut butter right on top of our rice cake. You can use creamy peanut butter, you can use crunchy peanut butter, you could use almond butter, maybe sun butter, um, if you can't have a nut butter. Um, so you have some options with this snack, but I've got peanut butter here, I've got crunchy peanut butter, so all I'm gonna do is take my one tablespoon, it's gonna say one TBSP, and my butter knife, and I'm just going to scoop out two tablespoons. Now, of course, you wouldn't have to measure this if you didn't want to. You could just scoop out some peanut butter and spread it on your rice cake. I like to measure things to know exactly how much I need, so that's why we're gonna do two tablespoons today. So I've got my first tablespoon here, and I'm just going to spread that out a little bit to give me some room, and then I'm gonna do one more tablespoon. And you can't have too much peanut butter, so I'm really gonna fill it up and then just put it right on my rice cake. And the thing I like about this snack is the rice cake has a little bit of grooves in it so the peanut butter kind of gets down in there and it just tastes really good. All right, I'm going to set my knife or my tablespoon aside and my peanut butter because we are done with those for now. We'll grab our tablespoon in just a second, but I'm gonna set it to the side so it's not in my way. And now all we're gonna do is spread out our peanut butter on the rice cake. Just a nice, even layer. Doesn't have to be perfect. Uh, this is no bake, so when we are done putting these ingredients on, it's gonna be all done. You can now put your knife aside, because we are done using that. I'm just gonna quick grab my tablespoon again. So you're, it's gonna be the same one we just used for the peanut butter. If it has peanut butter on it, obviously it's okay. No big deal, I'm just measuring out some chocolate chips. So I'm gonna grab my one tablespoon again, one TBSP and my chocolate chips. Again, this is another thing, you don't have to measure it. You could just sprinkle some chocolate chips on top, um, but I like to know exactly how, much, how many ingredients I need. So that's why I'm just going to grab some chocolate chips here. You could use regular like size, you could use mini chocolate chips, maybe you wanna use peanut butter chocolate chips. Um, if you don't like chocolate, you could obviously just not put them on. This is one of those snacks that you can try different things to see what you like, trial and error when you cook for yourself in the kitchen, those are the choices you can make. So I've now measured out one tablespoon of chocolate chips and I'm just going to sprinkle them around my rice cake. And I am using a plain rice cake. You could use a chocolate rice cake, a caramel rice cake. When I used to make this for my kids when they were little, they liked to have the chocolate one. So mine's just plain for today, but if you have another rice cake flavor that you like and you think that peanut butter would go well with it, go for it whatever flavor you choose. And really, again, from here, I'm just sprinkling these chocolate chips on top, 
trying to get them spread out so each bite has an awesome amount of chocolate in it. You can put your peanut butter or your tablespoon to the side and your chocolate chips to the side because guess what? We're already done. So it's just those three simple ingredients that we quick layered onto a rice cake. Um, it's just a great snack because it's gonna give you a bit of carbohydrates and energy from that rice cake. You're gonna get a little bit of protein from the peanut butter so it's gonna keep you full for a bit. Um, and again, we've, as we talked about, you can put so many different things on top. If you don't like chocolate chips, maybe you decide to slice up some strawberries. You could spread jelly on top to make it more of like a peanut butter and jelly situation. Um, so many options, but this is just a basic recipe that you could try um, because it does taste really good. So I do hope you try and make it or try and make it again. And when you do, let me know how it goes. Leave me a comment. Let me know if you have any questions. I love getting to hear from you. You can even send me a picture of how your peanut butter crunch cake turned out. I'd love to get to see your creation. Maybe you did decide to add some different toppings. I'd love to get to see it and maybe we could share it next week. Now, speaking of next week, on next week's episode, which is episode 48, we are learning how to make my favorite summertime treat, a s'more. But this s'more, we don't even need a campfire. We just cook it in an air fryer for three minutes and it turns out ooey and warm and gooey and melted and chocolate. And it's just one of my favorites. In order to cook along and make our air fryer s'more next week, these are the ingredients that you'll need to have in your kitchen. Two graham crackers, two large marshmallows, and half of a chocolate bar, or about six squares of chocolate. Well friends, our time together today is already over. It went by so fast because this was such a quick snack. I hope you enjoyed learning how to make it. I know I had fun and I already can't wait to cook together again next time. But before you say goodbye to this episode, make sure to click subscribe if you haven't already. You just have to click the little picture of me in the corner. That way you don't miss next week's episode. It'll be out on Friday and I'll see you then. Bye friends, it's time to eat. <laughs>